Vegas fantasy. Our Vegas fantasy is not a show about sex. No. It's about football. Cha cha cha. In a lower key because the key gets lower as the season gets longer. I thought it was the key gets lower because you were doing bad. That too. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Our Vegas Fantasy. I'm Kenny Davidson. Hi, I'm Christina Shaw. I actually had a decent week, so, you know, I actually went over 500 this week. Well, so how'd you do? What, what 30, 36 and 30? Is that what I did? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I did, 36 and 30. 36 I had a decent week. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Not bad. Not how about bad. you? Uh, I went three and two. Okay. Yes. You going to make the playoffs in all five of your leagues? No. No? I'm in well, like, Dynasty, you're in a fight. Yeah, I'm in, like, fights. There's only two that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, even our, our podcast league, I'm in third place, but I just got to third place. Okay. Remember, you and I were doing really good in the beginning of the year. And yeah, my just... team died. I got to six and six this week, but my team's dead. I'm, I need. I just need ridiculous luck to get anywhere. Yeah, um, my my winning needs to keep, continue to happen in, yeah. in our podcast league. But I'm in third place, so it's not the crazy dog fight. But in our other two uh, Yahoo ones, I'm kind of in dog fights, like sixth, seventh place. Okay. ESPN. I'm even like the even the, the auction league. I believe so. I thought yeah, you were really good in that league. I know I was, and I lost this past week, and oh, I was man. very upset about it, and it knocked me down. I think to seventh place. The geriatric in eighth place. Geriatric in wow. Yeah. Came out of nowhere. You have Mixon in that league. Yeah. Right? You got P. Ryan, didn't you? But I have more points than, you know, spot number four, spot oh. number five. It's yeah. like, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm in, yeah, I'm in eighth place. All right. And that's a good team. We got to fight to the end here. I know. There's a lot of teams that are like, I, I mean, there's a team. I'm in a $200 league, one of my leagues, that is in 12th place. In the last two weeks, he scored 190 points both weeks. Jeez. Like, he's just finally getting healthy now. But it's like he's, I think, three and nine because he just his season's over. Yeah. Yeah. I have my most proud thing right now is that more than half my teams are six and six or better. My my overall record is under five hundred because I have a lot of four and eight and three and nine that are just dead teams. I have some really bad teams, but more than half my teams are six and six or better. But I have a team, one of the very high stakes leagues that started one and six, it is now six and six. Wow. Yes. How's your league with Bucky? My league with Bucky, I got two leagues with Bucky. One is a, the big $1,600 one. Yeah, how's that one? We are in third. Oh, that's not And bad. we will qualify for the tournament at third. If we get in set, now we, and we will get some money back for being third. If we can crawl into second in points, we're only behind in points by 15 points for second. If we crawl into second, then we're already profiting. profiting. So that's, it, it's not a bad team. It, what we need this week is the shootout of all shootouts with Cincinnati because we have Burrow. Mm. When Burrow has a down week, we don't do so well. And Kelsey, even Kelsey this week had 15, but that's a down week for Kelsey. Like he wasn't that involved and Kansas City didn't do much. They didn't need to to win. So we have, that's a Burrow, Kelsey, uh, Debo Samuel team, Camara, which is a terrible pick right now. Gibson, not good. Kenneth Walker, that's been the best pick that we made in that. that there are three of my players in my ESPN. Burrow, Walker, and... Uh... And uh, who was the other person you said? Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. Walker's a league winner right now. If you drafted Walker, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I wish I had him more. I only got him once in that ESPN. Yeah, league, he but. was. He looked out. He was looked like he was. A, he's a, a really good pick. Stud for sure. Indeed. So let's go to uh, wrapping up this week, week twelve, Thanksgiving week, where we didn't have a bye, which is lovely. Lovely. Uh, Josh Allen. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Although you know, honestly, we shouldn't be yawning about that because like we were worried about him. The yeah. last couple of weeks, and he came back and, and killed it this week. Good for him. He's got over 3,100 passing yards for the season. Mahomes has, like, uh, almost 3,600 passing yards. So, he's keep it up. There you go. Number one, number two right there. There you go. Justin Herbert coming back. Oh, that was surprising. Are we thinking Justin Herbert's going to take off for the rest of the year now? No. No. Really? I don't think so. No. Do you? I do with, that, with Keenan Allen back. Yeah, I absolutely oh, do. Yeah, I think that changes yeah. the whole season for him. Okay. Yeah, I think he's and and they're playing the Raiders this week. I would have had a really big week out of Herbert mm -hmm. this week. All right, we'll see. 
Jalen Hurts, how much did he run for? Is he still running, by the way? Yeah, he Jaylen ran Hurts. for uh, 157 yards, and he's still running. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Still. Yeah, I just saw him on the street. There you go. He's yeah. Just running. He's like, for, run for us, run. So, right? yeah, the, the, I don't know if you saw the stat at the end of the game. He's the second player in NFL history with 150 passing yards, 150 rushing yards, and two touchdowns in a game, in a single game. You know, it's funny, like, that game against the Packers, like, the Packers were in that game, but, like, did you ever feel like the Packers were really in that game? They were. I know, but like, they did you? Like but you, ain't, but you as an Eagle fan, did you really think that you were going to lose that game? As an Eagles fan, yes. You always think you're going to lose right, the fair game. Fair enough. Because they always like to reel you in and then smash your dreams, like I always like to say. Despite the fact that they won a Super Bowl a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. that was the one time they did not smash our dreams. All right. Also, Jalen Hurts, for the year, has run almost 600 yards. Yeah, you know who's run more? It's Justin Fields as a quarterback. Yes. Justin Fields is over 800 yards on the ground, That's which insane. is absurd. Just a, more than yeah. most running backs. And let's play a game of which of these guys don't belong. Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, and Mike White. Who? Who? Mike White. Who the hell is Mike White? <laughs> I literally had to look up who the Jets heck is Mike Jets quarterback White. Mike White. What a game. Unbelievable. All right. Is this going to be a thing now? I mean. Or did he just have beginner's luck? No, because he played last year and he was great. When he played last year. So why hasn't this been a thing? Because Zach Wilson's the number two pick. Mm-hmm. So they put Zach Wilson in. Zach Wilson. I don't think Zach Wilson sees the field. Unless Mike White gets hurt. And even if he gets hurt, I think it's going to be Flacco. I think Zach Wilson is done. Good. It need, you, you need to, once you try something, it didn't work. That's Move it. on. Move, Move on. on. Yeah. So the Jets might, might have straightened the things out there. Justin Jefferson with receivers. <sighs> Thank goodness, though. But he had a dreadful last week. So was yeah, he no. in the lows last week? Yeah, he was. He was yeah. So. so yawn, but, you know. Yeah, we'll take it. Amon Ross St. Brown. Another one. Nice job out of him. Wish I had him. I didn't get him anyway. Yeah, I got him in a few places. I really like him. Yeah, I do, too. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites who's come alive, Chris Godwin. 110 yards and a touchdown, 12 right. catches. That one in 16 that I mentioned, that six and six, he's the big reason why. Nah. That's a problem with a lot of these teams is, you know, you draft like Godwin and it took five weeks for Godwin to get going. Mm-hmm. And even when he got going, he wasn't really great. Now he's like playing out, mm-hmm. lights out. So, and then which name doesn't belong in this list? Zay Jones. But did you see how good he looked? It's great. I mean, yeah. why is he not more of a thing? I don't know. So, it's a really good question. So good, fast. Did some quick cuts. Yeah. Like, really good. I was, like, looking at him like, why? Why? I went to a Raiders practice a year ago when he was on the Raiders. And they were using him like crazy. Like, he was, the, like, car was throwing him in practice like crazy. And then all of a sudden, he's just not involved. Yeah. It's really weird. He's had a couple games this year where he's had monster games. Yeah, it's, this right? is probably going to be his best year since 2018, was from my research. Oh, easily, yeah. 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 So, And I, he hurt Christian Kirk. And I have a lot of Christian Kirk, and he hurt him this week. But yeah. He was great. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be looking for him next year. Yeah. Be interesting. Mm-hmm. Garrett Wilson with Mike White. All of a sudden, Garrett Wilson comes alive. Okay. Yep. Yep. He's 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 a great receiver. He's a thing, yeah. Yeah, he's absolutely a thing. And we go to the running backs. Who has Josh Jacobs on their team? I do not. Oh my god. What best, a game. I know. And his best best year, his best game, he's just killed it. 300 yards, 300 scrimmage yards. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. absurd. Unbelievable. Two touchdowns. He scored 48 points. Yep. It was funny when he started scoring all the touchdowns, and I'm sure you guys out there in podcast world do the same thing. Oh, no. Am I going against him? Yep. And you just frantically look at all your teams, like making sure you're not going against. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I did not go against Josh Jacobs anywhere this Jacob'd. week. I didn't get Jacob. You didn't get J- <laughs> Jacob Jingle Hunter, Jingle Hunter Schmidt. <laughs> Don't yeah. start that. I always get it stuck in my head. Yeah. And just to add in- injury to insult, he's on the injury report this week. Oh, yeah, he may not practice this week. Oh, he's great. He's got a calf problem. Oh. But the, the, the feeling is that he's still going to play. So now here's the, here's Miles Sanders. Let's talk about Miles Sanders because he was, I think, on the crap the bed lead with two weeks in a row. He's so volatile. Mm-hmm. But he's been, like, he's good. But he's volatile. Yeah. You know? Very good or very bad most of the year. He's had his best rushing year this year. Best rushing. 
this I think year. The thing with him is he stayed healthy. Yeah. That's the biggest deal with him. I, I mean, I, I was a non-believer. I was oh, like, me too. You know, I, I, I drafted like Kenneth Gainwell, like my last pick in Boston Scott, because I'm just like, one of these guys is going to emerge because Sanders is going to get hurt or he's just going to be like an old man and limp off the field. And Gainwell got the first touchdown. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah, he did. They, they actually, I wonder how many points Gainwell scored. I don't think he had much else other than the touchdown. He like a couple of the carries. So I saw him, Boston Boston Scott had a couple carries. Yeah, too. he did too. They use everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Austin Eckler, what a year he's had. Well, good for him. Yep, number one running back in PPR this year. Yes, in half PPR I think it's Jacobs. He had but a, in full PPR it's Eckler. Eckler had eleven receptions this last week. Unbelievable. Whew. Yeah, Take I remember the I remember the first two weeks they weren't really throwing to him and we were like, mm-hmm. uh, what's going on here? Mm-hmm. And you know, that, that that's all fixed. Mm-hmm. Tight ends. Dalton Schultz back. Yay. Looks good. Yeah, I played him. And then Josh Oliver. Hmm? What? Who? 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 Well, tight end from Baltimore and got some points and a touchdown. And it wasn't Mark Andrews. And it wasn't Mark Andrews. That's up with that. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. And now... Who crapped the bed? Did you crap the bed? Did I crap the bed? Did Russell Wilson crap the bed? Because he, he always, always craps, craps the bed. The bed. <laughs> I want to know who crapped the bed. Crap, crap the, the bed. bed! Russell Wilson! He's had one good fantasy week, Kenny. I don't even think you can put him on this list. He's just a forever crap the bed. He's crapped the seasons, what he has. I know. He was one that I was like, oh, I think he's going to have a great year. No. I think we all thought he would come there and be at least decent. I mean, this is... Is he just getting old? I mean, he's not that old. I don't I don't know. I don't know if this is age or his mind or... I don't know what's going on with him. But this is a horrific season. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Jimmy Garoppolo. Eesh. You know, they didn't do much. They didn't need to yeah. do much. They shut New Orleans out. There was nothing yeah. really going on there. I would expect Garoppolo this week to have a monster week. We'll see. It's, they, they, this is going to be a shootout this week. 49ers Dolphins. I can't wait for that game. Yeah, it's gonna That's be a good. hell of a game. And with Garoppolo, Debo Samuel crops the bed. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Debo. Yeah, but he had a good last week, so can't get too upset. Yep. Mike Evans. Ugh, When's the last me. time Mike Evans scored a touchdown? I don't know. I think it's week two. I don't know. Yeah. But this was his by far his worst game of the year. He, he, he only caught two out of the nine passes Yeah. that went his way. If he doesn't score touchdowns, I mean, he's really not giving you much. Yeah. You know? Godwin's the number one anyway. Juju comes back from injury, and uh, he doesn't do much. He caught all three passes that were thrown his way. They didn't need him. Yeah. It's just another one of those games that just, it was not, there just wasn't much to do. Uh, another 49er, Christian McCaffrey. But, the you know, Elijah Mitchell just got hurt, so I wonder if Christian McCaffrey is going to be back to being Christian McCaffrey again. Which he should be. But he's also in the injury report. He's got a knee problem. Mm-hmm. So we'll see with that. Has Damian Pierce run out of gas, or he's had just two bad matchups? No, I think, think two bad matchups. Okay, we'll see. Because he's got a gold matchup this week. Let's see how he does. Who do they play this week? Cleveland. Okay. I'm down for it. I hope so, because I'm relying on him. Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. We're relying on him. This is the Deshaun Watson returns to Houston game, by the mm-hmm. way. Yeah, so, yeah. Tony Pollard. The week I start Tony Pollard. Oh, no. The week I start Tony Pollard... He craps the bed. Who'd you Thank play you. him over? Ramondre. Ooh. And Kamara, too, which was okay. Kamara did anything. But I have, I have, I'm deep at running back in that league. I have, who do I have? I have, a, I have Walker, Texas Ranger. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've looked. Man, I've looked over Ramondre, he's been having such a good year. I don't know why I, had, I put Ramondre in the bench in that league. I'm not sure why I did. Oh, I put Rashad White. No, I had. No, I did start Stevenson. Yeah, Stevenson. I started. Right, so I started Pollard over Kamara. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I did. That's acceptable. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, because Andre actually, had twenty points this week. I mean, that actually ended up being a decent, decent play. I actually had Rashad White on the bench, which I will not have this week mm. in that week. Yes. How do you sit Tony Pollard after what he did the last two weeks? He's like Jerry Jones said. Mm. They have Zeke. George but Zeke did great though. Yeah, George Kittle crapped the bed. Yeah. Womp womp. Another 49er. No, yeah. Just, just. They, they didn't need him. Yeah. It's just one of those, you know, like you look at the Arizona game that they played Mexico City. Everybody did great. And then this week, they, you know, didn't do much. So. I wish I was uh, going against Kittle this week, unlike last week when I got Kittled all over the place. Yep. Whatever. 
Yep. And I'm just putting Mike Kosicki on this list because, like, not that anybody's using Mike Kosicki. No. But, like, you got a zero, right? It's like you never know which week he's going to get 20, mm -hmm. right? He's as volatile a player as you find in fantasy football. There's yeah. no reason to roster a guy like that. I have him in Dynasty just in case, but I when like, are you ever I like him. him. But I when are you ever using him? I don't know. Not really anymore because, um, well, yeah. You have Hurts in that league too, right? Yeah, though yeah, that's so you've my got, you've got I have, right. I have Hurts and Hurts. Hurt, yeah. yeah, Hurts and Hurts. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how good that's lasting for me. So speaking of Alvin Kamara, what the hell do we do with Alvin Kamara? He's been really. I don't bad know. He lately. hasn't scored a touchdown in four consecutive games now. Now he just missed getting in the end zone. If he gets in the end zone, all of a sudden he has a fifteen point day. You're not. You're not talking about this. He also fumbled the ball. And he times. fumbled the ball twice. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you're not dropping him. He's the lead back in New Orleans. Yeah. You just have to live with this. But you can you can sit him. I mean, I said I sat him in a few weeks. Yeah. Well. You know, I'll probably sit, I'll probably sit him better. this week. They're playing Tampa this week. I'm probably gonna sit him this week. All you right. Know? If you have something better, do it. Yeah. What the hell do we do with Gabe Davis? Play someone else. There you go. <laughs> the, his next matchups are New England, Oof. the Jets, Oof. Miami. Ooh. Well, Miami's a good matchup. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago. That's a good matchup. Cincinnati. Well, not that you'd play him week. So I mean, the, no. The, the, week the, they're playing the, Cincinnati. the last three weeks are good. Yeah. So. But the, you might be out of the playoffs by then. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And who are you starting? Are you starting Brian Robinson or are you starting Antonio Gibson? Because Brian Robinson killed it this week. Antonio Gibson didn't do much. I don't have either of them, but I still think I'm rolling with Gibson. That's a tough one. That is. Who are you doing? I mean, we have a league. That's the league we're talking about with me, Bucky, and his friend. We have both. Oh, yeah. Now we don't know what to do. Is there anyone else? <laughs> no, we got to play one of them. You play both of them. No, no, because we have Walker and we have Kamara. I mean, we could play one over Kamara, but I wouldn't do that. I would play Kamara, Walker, and then either one of those two. That's what we're going to do. Oof. I don't know what we're going to do. Like, we're really going to talk about this this week. I think we may play Robinson because we know. Here's the one thing. Robinson's on the field a lot more. Hmm. This week he was. I mean, the week before he wasn't. Maybe so, they were just kind of like easing him in, and now like he's full strength and feeling maybe? great. And maybe they're like, you know, he's our number one. Gibson's our number two. Maybe. I really don't know. I really – that that's just a quandary. It's literally a dart throw. Yeah. And can we drop a couple of Tylers? Can we drop Tyler Boyd? I find it really hard to drop Tyler Boyd. I think – yeah, I don't think you drop Tyler Boyd. But as you, you but, with, but he had his worst game of the season with Chase having his hip injury. Yeah, Makes right. no sense. Makes no sense at all. No sense. Yeah. He's had one really good game with Chase out. He hasn't really been great. It's frustrating because yeah. I, I rolled with him this week and I got burned. Yeah. Can we drop Tyler Higby? <sighs> no, because is there that many other great tight ends? No, but do you want to play a Ram ever at this point? I mean, he did. Do you realize how good he did at the beginning of the year? With Matthew Stafford. I mean, they have Bryce Perkins around him now. Yeah. Well, the who, Rams. Who, who started... are your better options? McBride. No. Right. Who else? Fant. Mm. Not really. I mean, he's been better lately. Fant's out there. Yeah. Yeah. Fryer. No, I, it's true. Oh no, Fryer has been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's the thing. If you have Hegby and you don't have anybody else, you're kind of stuck. Right. He's like it, kind of on the the brink of that. Like what? Twelve. Yeah. 13 tight end ish. Yep. yep. So it's like, unless you got a guy who's holding a couple tight ends. Yep. Which could be possible. He might be your only, your best option. Mm -hmm. That's tough. The Rams started more players this week on offense that I've never heard of. I don't, I don't recall a team in week 12 of an NFL season that had so many players out there that I'm like, who, are the, who the hell are these guys? Was his name Tyler? <laughs> right? Tyler, you know, Tyler Joe. Tyler, Tyler, you know, Tyler Johnson. No, actually, there actually is a Tyler Johnson, right? I don't know. Tyler Schwartz. Tyler Smith. Tyler, Smith. Tyler <laughs> Jones, right? 
Tyler Davidson. Tyler Davidson. Tyler Shaw. <laughs> okay. Right? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, injuries. Aaron Rodgers says he's going to play this week. I have a feeling this will be the last week we see Aaron Rodgers all year. I'm so sad I don't have Jordan Love on Dynasty anymore. Is he taken? Yes. Yeah, oh, pick somebody him up. took him. Well, yeah. I just I couldn't hold on to him anymore. Yeah. I mean, he didn't but even I, ever using him. I mean, I wish I would. Now I'm like kicking myself in the butt because he looked great. He did look good. It was garbage time, so let's temper it a little bit, but he but looked still good. Accurate? He did look good. Yeah, he did. I'm bummed. I don't have him. Yeah. I can't hold on to him for freaking three years. No, I get it. Well, I mean, it's, it's Dynasty, but our Dynasty leagues are a little shallow, so it's not as easy. But, I, yeah, I hear you. It's, it's really not easy to do that. <sighs> yeah. I think we're going to see Jordan Love in weeks 15, 16, 17. Mm. I do think we're going to see that. Because Rodgers is just going to crap the bed? No, because Green Bay is going to be out of it. Mm. And he, he said this, He said this. Uh, what was it, two days ago, as long as we're mathematically alive, I want to play. Well, they're not going to be mathematically alive in a couple of weeks. So I don't think he's going to play. So I think this is it. Rodgers will play this week in Chicago. Who win? He'll beat Chicago because he always beats Chicago. He owns Chicago, mm -hmm. as he's as he said himself. Right. And then, uh, and this will be it. Mm -hmm. So Matthew Stafford's probably going to be out for the year. Yep. We know that. So neck strain. Oof. Yep. Unbelievable. That that that's one of the worst. I just can't get over. I talk about every week how much I can't even like fathom how bad the Rams are. Yeah. Uh. Justin Fields is he playing? Day to day, I don't think so. I don't know. Probably. I mean, but they have a bye next week too. It's what makes me nervous that he's not going to play this week. Yeah, but he's young. Get him on the field. I He'll feel be that fine. way too. Get him on the field. What? What? Are they, what I mean, if, they, if there's no risk of reentry, what the hell are you send him out for? Mm -hmm. Play him. Yeah. And for our fantasy teams, play him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Travis Etienne. He should play, right? He's going to play. Yeah, it looks that way. But I mean, he he got hurt early and gave you point three. Thank you, Travis Thanks. ATM. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, thank you for thank you for point three, Travis ATM. We appreciate that. So, Allen Robinson out for the year, mm. possibly done with his career. Oh gosh, done for his career? Yeah, possibly. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a bad injury. That's so sad. Yeah. Did that happen on the field? No. Wait, Something I happened in practice. I didn't think so. Yeah, no, we didn't hear about it until Sunday, Saturday night. That's when we first heard about it. <sighs> he was questionable, but like there was a. Something happened Saturday night. We heard about it on Friday, and then we heard about it on Saturday. And uh, it was not good. So, Darno Mooney out for the year. This is a great week. Oh, I know, right? Great week. Yep. Darno Mooney. He's <sighs> a good player. Yeah. You have him a lot. I have you? him a lot. He's one of my guys. Another one of my guys that I have all over the place that's out for the year. I have so many of those guys I've lost for the year. What? You're, you're, you're doing it, Kenny. You're still doing it. I'm alive. It. I'm here. After it's how many injuries, support. right? I am. Because I've, I've never had a year of this many injuries. Yeah. I got destroyed by them this year. Joe Mixon's supposed to be back this week. I hope he's not. <laughs> no, I hope he is. Right. Well, I hope he's back. So. All right. And Elijah Mitchell out for six to eight weeks. Ugh, so that's pretty much. That's should, the end of that. We should technically bury him, too. I mean, technically, he's, he's, he's done. Yeah. So. And by the way. Who the hell is Zonovan Knight? Oh, okay. I'll tell you all about Please Z do. Zonovan Knight. Please do. He actually goes by Bam Knight. Bam! Bam. Bam. He's a running back of uh, the New York Jets. He's 21 years old. He's 5'10", 209 pounds. He made his NFL debut this past week, and he was an undrafted player. There you go. Undrafted player. There you go. Can you imagine? Bam Knight. How many undrafted superstars that just... Like, get pushed aside. Like, look, look at Tom Brady. Yeah. I drafted two. No, he was sixth round pick. Sixth round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Adam Thielen. There's a good undrafted player. Yes. Arian yes. Foster. Yes, yes. Good undrafted oh, player. Oh, Arian Foster. Remember that? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's crazy how many talented people are out there that don't get drafted. Yeah. Not, so that's all about Bam. Bam Knight. Knight. And who the hell is Co Keeft? Co Keeft? Well, he is a tight end from Tampa Bay. He's 6'5, 265 pounds. He's 24 years old. He was picked uh, round six. No. Yes. Round six. 
uh, pick uh, 218. Wow. And okay. it's his uh, first touchdown. There you go. Co Keeped. Co Keeped. Co Keeped. Name. Yep. Great his name. Names. Yeah. Bam Knight Co Keeped. And River Craycraft. River Craycraft. <laughs> Whatever happened to River Craycraft, Kenny? Whatever happened. I had high hope for River I Craycraft. Did. I know you did. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> All right. Time for the wave of wire. Let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. Get that good wave of wire that will set your team on fire. So don't miss fire or he will go to the highest fire. Don't wait too long because you know they expire. You require to aspire the highest waiver wire. Uh. <laughs> and our first player is Bam Knight. Bam Knight. Who's Son of a Knight. Who's Bam Knight again? Yeah. You picking him up? I, I mean... Carter went down. He's only 2% owned. And James Robinson was a healthy scratch. Yeah. Mm, I mean, if you be. need a running back, I kind of think you got to go get him. Right? Get Go get this undrafted rookie that's uh, 2% owned. And ran for a lot of yards. I mean, do you really want anyone on the Jets, though, as we talked about uh, You know, week? listen, if Mike White's your quarterback, yeah, this is true. you might want somebody on the Jets. Mm -hmm. This is true. I don't think this is so bad. I mean, they but play. They look. Risk, they look great. Do you want to risk your fantasy season on Mike White and Bam Knight? Depends what you need. You know, it's all it's all need based. I mean, if there are teams where you're if no running backs, yeah, you definitely want to do it. Quarter. I mean, quarterback super flex leagues. I would definitely play Mike White. In a heartbeat. Oh yeah, Mike yeah, White. yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a one quarterback league, no, no, right. But in a two quarterback league, absolutely. So you want Mike White this week in a two quarterback league? Yes, I yes, do. yes, absolutely, I do. Mm -hmm. In a two quarterback league, you probably should pick Jordan Love up at this point. Just to see. Jordan Love's gonna play. Not this week. Unless something weird happens mathematically that the Packers are still alive in week fifteen. Jordan Love's playing week fifteen. Jordan Love's gonna play week fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You heard it first. I mean, I, I don't see I mean, Aaron told you that. I'm not making this up. He's the one that said, if we're mathematically alive, I want to play. They're not going to be mathematically alive in two weeks. Is he going to He's going to retire after this? I don't know. We don't know. But I think Jordan Love's playing. So if you were in a super flex league, you need to bid on Jordan Love. You have to get him stashed. All right. Without a doubt. Especially mm -hmm. if you're Aaron Rodgers, because you're not going to have Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Are we bidding on Jermichael Hasty? Yeah. I like it. You know, they did. They, they added Daryl Henderson to that team. Yeah. You'd rather have Henry, you'd rather Hasty than Henderson? I would have rather have Hasty. Okay, so you're bidding on Hasty. It's, I mean, look, he's he's there if ATN, you know, can't get on the field again. I picked up, you know, when, like, you have an IR spot that, you know, that you, you put your player on IR and you have just, like, this, this empty spot, you yes. know? And it's, like, Sunday morning or it's, like, the 4 o'clock game or, you know, the second set of games. And you're just like, I'm just going to pick some random dude up. Yeah. Like, just to pick a random dude up, I picked up Hasty. I don't know if it wasn't this week. It was another week. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I think I had. Then you're like, I hit the jackpot. Yeah. And I looked at all my teams. And I was like, I don't have them. I was like, it must have been a few weeks ago that right. I did that. And then I dropped him because of the bye weeks. Right, or right. But, man, when that hits, isn't that exciting? Yeah, sure. It's a shame. That it's hard to hold on to these guys. You have to kind of, they have to hit the week you get them. Right. Or else then you just drop them and then, you know. Right. But, yeah, when it does hit, it's like, ooh, you, you scored. Right? Right. Also. I did that with Kaepernick a few years ago. Oh. When Kaepernick wasn't starting. I stashed him like that, and then he began to start in quarterback. And there you go. I did go. that with Garoppolo in a couple weeks this year, and that worked out. There you go. So it does work when that happens. So Also, Elijah Moore. On a Elijah waiver Moore? wire or after midnight? Uh, on No. Waiver wire. Waiver wire. Okay. No? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Why not? Okay. I mean, he's not available. He's 26% owned. He's, a, quite, he's available in most of my leagues. See, I, he wasn't available in any of mine. Really? People have been stashing him? Wow. Yeah. And okay. all of our uh, Yahoo ones, he's not available. Yeah. He's probably available in my 10 team. Now, look, he only had two targets. So let's not go nuts here. But. But. Mike White. Yeah. And also Zay Jones. Another good waiver wire if he's available. If he's available. Yeah, I didn't put him in because he's not available in my leagues. But, yeah, um, if, he, if, he, if he is, it absolutely. Again, he's absolutely. only 26% owned as well. I really like Zay Jones. I want to get a share of Zay Jones. Well, you're going to get a share of Zay Jones because you're going to bid on him. 
but he, I don't think he's really available anywhere. Well, we'll have to see. Well, I'll have to hit that little, league, that so. little show button like you showed us that yes. one week. That's like rocked my world. Yeah. You have to see if he's available. So. And then they're the leftovers. The morning appetite. The after midnight people. Or the early morning. You still want it to be early morning, huh? I like early morning, Kenny. I'm an early morning kind of girl. I'm well rested, ready to go, ready to pick up my player and get lucky, hopefully. Like Jordan Mason? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I had another player I had. No, you know, all right, so Jordan Mason, that was, that's I it. I had oh, okay, yeah. in Dynasty. That's Why, right. You picked him up a week ago. I remember that. Long time ago. Not anymore. I got one. Who's your after This one's dirty. Dirty? Benny Snell. Benny Snell. <laughs> gross. Yeah. It's gross. That's definitely gross. I couldn't. F- it was hard to find after midnight. That's this a bad week. one. It was pretty bad. How about? We have to go for these crazy names, especially that's why partially why they're leftovers because they have crazy names. But how about a little Tyrion Davis Price, running back? I don't even know who that is. Where they're running back for the 49ers. Oh, another running back. Another for running, the 49ers? running back for 49ers. Great. It's not Jordan Mason. Can't wait. Yeah. No. I don't want to. You're not into. I mean, come on. You don't want to. You don't want a three name person for your after midnight special. <laughs> no. Come on, Tyrion. It's too much of a mouth. Come on, Tyrion Davis Price. <laughs> Tyrion Davis. You I mean, do, what, do you, what do you? How do you call him? You call him Tyrion. You call him Tyrion Davis. You call him Tyrion Davis Price. I mean, what do you do here? However he likes to be called. There you go. After midnight. After midnight. Oh well. There you go. That was a week after midnight. Sorry about that, guys. Yep. There wasn't very many. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Yep. So should I tell a story? Yeah. What's your overthought of the week? So. Josh Jacobs is playing the 4 o'clock games. 1 o'clock games for the West Coast, right? I have a league where I had no other player on my roster that was playing at 4. That's not true. Trey McBride. He was the only other player. So I have Gibson, Latavius Murray, and Rashad White. And I decide, okay, you know what? I think I'm safe. I'm, I'm like a 25-point favorite. I have a great team there. I think I'm safe. Let me just put those three in and not worry about this. And I'll just sit Jacobs, and I should be fine. Right? So, and it might be, you know, Rashad White, 19.9. Gibson didn't do much. Dave Murray, 12. It's okay. You know, like, Terry Kill, Okay. So you were feeling pretty good. Burrow, okay, but nobody had a great week. Yeah. Right? So now I'm going into last night down 12.1 or 12.2 with Kenny Pickett. And I get a notification as they're coming down, they're driving. You've taken the lead in your $250 uh Superflex three wide receiver league, and I just took the lead because Pickett took the Pickett got enough points. He took the lead, right? They gave it to Snell. Snell scores a touchdown. So he doesn't throw a touchdown pass, but he's he got enough and you know enough yardage, or whatever. I take the lead. Well, Pittsburgh doesn't see the ball again. Indianapolis has the ball, and clock runs out on Indianapolis, and then Pickett actually no Steelers do get the ball back, but it's over, and Pickett takes two knees. And I lose. Don't say it. I lost. Because he took two knees. Oh. And I lost by point one. Point one? Not even. Um, I lost by, by less than that, I believe. Oh, that hurts. That hurts? Did you, did you see that live and know that that I didn't even realize it until I looked at the score. Because I had other leagues that I was doing fine in. I didn't even really look at it. And I was like, oh my God, I lost this league by 0.08. Because I 
because Kenny Pickett took two knees. Oh, my God. Are you f***ing kidding me? The other thing that killed me in that league was Jawan Johnson getting a zero. So if I started Trey McBride, who got his 1.1 points over Jawan Johnson, I would have won. I still would have won. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's bad. But I had Josh Jacobs, and it's 48.3 on the bench. Oh, that hurts. That It sounds – didn't we literally – a couple weeks ago, like, talk about the same scenario, and you're, you're like, yeah, this guy posted on Twitter. Look what happened. Mm -hmm. You're that guy. Yeah, I was that guy this, last night. Yeah. I lost I lost because of kneel downs. You know I mean, look, I, I, look, in retrospect, should I have gambled on Josh Jacobs' health? Probably. There was no indication that he wasn't going to play, but he was still, like, the report was, if, if as long as there's no setbacks and warm-ups. Would you rather lose by 20 or by .08? I'd rather lose by 20. Well, then, there's your answer. Next yeah, I should have I should have, I should have put in Jacobs. Put in the start, the starter. So I would have started him over Rashad White, and I would have won by 20. Oh, yeah. So that's an overthought, and an are you f***ing kidding me in the, same, in the same thought. So you know who doesn't? When he takes a kneel down, he kneels forward. You know who doesn't? You. I'm kidding. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. I know this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank As you, Tom all... Brady. Thank you, Tom Brady, for caring about our fantasy teams. Yes, thank you. Well, it's, it goes against his stats, yeah. too. I lost against, I lost with a Mahomes kneel down two years ago. Don't they It's not know. the first time that's happened to me. I look, listen, you, I, you play as many leagues as I played. Weird crap's going to happen here. Yeah. We know that. But, man. The problem is that this team's very good. I mean, this team's very, very good. It's number one in points by 80 points. It's gonna. I'm gonna win the overall points title. I mean, my quarterbacks, Burrow, Pickett, not great, but like my running, my wide receivers, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Tr Tyree Kill, Jamar Chase, Brandon Ayuk, right? Mm -hmm. And my running backs, Josh Jacobs, Rashad White, Antonio Gibson, Latavius Murray. I'm loaded there. Yeah, that's. I'm great. in good shape there. Yeah. Right. But I might lose the first round by. I'm seven and five now. Because of that loss. Because of that loss. No. I might lose the first round by. Are you not in first place anymore? No, I'm in third. Oh, that knocked you down two spots. It did. Oy. So I have to win out and hope somebody loses. In our, um, in my ESPN league that you're not in, I'm. I mentioned this before. I'm in second place, but the guy in front of me is in first place. But I have more points than him. But because he beat me, that that's how this league is. That he's in first place. This past week, he scored monster amount of points so now he has more points than than me wow but we're both 10 and 2 he's in first place i'm in second place so i have 1850 points the third place has 1556 wow isn't that insane i mean that's crazy and he's eight and four this guy can't even catch us if he wants to right it's insane right that's pretty good i mean no i, I mean it could happen but i mean not gonna happen not, not with that sort of a deficit it's insane yeah like, and this guy, had, well, he has Mahomes, and we always talk about, do we spend top priority on quarterbacks? And last year in this league, I had Mahomes, and I got second place. I almost won. Yeah. But I feel like maybe in 10-team, you want to go with that first pick or second pick of that quarterback. In We've talked team. about if Josh Allen was on your team, how much it's helping you right now. Well, look at how much it's helping Mahomes. The right. Mahomes. Right. Owner. Right. I mean, it's sick. It's it, it, it all depends on if you find the guy. Like, up until last week, if you found Justin Fields on waivers, then you're better. Then you were better off not taking the quarterback and getting Justin Fields. And if Justin Fields comes back. And he plays this week, and then he plays in the playoffs, and he does what he does, mm -hmm. then you're fine. But, like, if he doesn't, and all of a sudden, like, there's no league-winning quarterback on waivers, then, yeah, you needed to take him Mahomes or Burrow or, or Allen, you know? I don't even, Or Jalen Hurts. He's another one. I don't even – oh, here. This guy – why is this guy playing Geno Smith over Justin Fields? I have no idea. Well, Justin Fields didn't play this week. He's playing him because he doesn't know if Justin Fields is going to play. He'll probably switch he it out if Fields is in. Last week? Well, Fields didn't play. Oh, duh. Yeah. So, like, if yeah. if Fields plays, he'll probably switch it out. But, Although Geno Smith's been good. But this guy has Fields. He's had field all, Fields all year, and he, he's 3-9. and nine. 
Yeah. So just because you have fields. I mean, he must have nothing else. Yeah. He must have absolutely nothing else if he's getting beat, beaten with fields. Yeah. I don't have too many fields teams that are that are bad right now. But he's got to play. Like They're not great either because it took him a while to get going. He's got Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, that's partially why. White. Higgins. Mike Evans. Gabe Evan, Davis. Yeah, Evans, hasn't yeah. Been, yeah, these, uh, Evans and Davis haven't been great. Higgins have been good. Darnell, Taylor Taylor finally is getting good again. Darnell Mooney. IR. Yeah, Mooney's been, you know, not great. Rondell Moore out. Yeah, yeah, that's why he's three and nine. You can't win with just Fields. You got to get more than that. Yeah. So Marquise Brown, poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Oh yeah, that's Rough why. It's, it's a that's a prototype three and nine. Team. Bad luck. He's got, he had yeah, bad luck. Yeah, he did have bad luck. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. <laughs> so, all right. Oh wait, I have one too. Oh. I looked at our dynasty and I'm like, Allen Robinson on IR, and I didn't replace him. I had no idea. You still beat me. But guess what? I still beat Kenny. Are you f- kidding me? Has my is any team have more of a fall from grace than my dynasty team? Well, I think you gave up. I traded away. Yes. Yeah. I decided my team was getting old. Now, now I don't mind trading Cook. Because I don't think Dalvin Cook is I, – I was never going to get more for Dalvin Cook than what I got. Hopkins was a mistake. The biggest mistake I made in the offseason, which everybody screamed at Tully for, for making this deal. Like, Tully traded two first-round picks for Josh Jacobs. I mean, I, I thought I had a steal. Mm-hmm. Who the hell thought Josh Jacobs was going to do this? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a great deal for Tully. There you go. If I had Jacobs on my team, I think I'd be doing pretty well. Right, yeah. but what's Jacobs going to continue to do? Is he going to continue to do this next, well, I mean, but next either, year? E, e, no, but either way. But the, the other reason why I'm not winning, I have no quarterbacks. Neither do I. Not think like anybody does. Who you, have, the, you, know, you have cousins? Who has the quarterbacks in this league? That's what I want to know. Scott does. He's got Burrow and Herbert. Oh, that's why. That's why. Yeah. And uh, both Scots. The other Scots got Allen and Hurts. Yeah. And Lamar Jackson. He's got three quarterbacks. He's got three, that yeah, jerk. People. He's got three quarterbacks. <sighs> Allen, Hurts, and Lamar. Right? Must Not be bad. nice. Yeah, it must be nice, must right? Must be nice. Yep. Yep. You got to trade for somebody. My third quarterback is Andy Dalton. At least you got Andy Dalton. I did. Yeah. I got him this year, and I was like, I need somebody. Yeah. It was so. like scraping the waiver wire for any I mean, sign of life. I, I, you know, my quarterbacks going into the year are Kyler, Stafford, Wentz. Mm. Right? Stafford is Wentz going to come back? I don't think he is. That's sad. I think he's done. Mm. I think his career is almost over, too. Mm. Yeah, that's how bad he's been. He's going to be a backup somewhere. We'll see. All right, let's do it. It's a Wednesday night. Who should you choose? Make the right choice so you win, not lose. Start or sit. Start or sit. Start or sit. Oh, what do we got? We got a bunch. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Good old Dennis hitting us with some starter sits. Always. First one, PPR. Running back, Ramondre, RB2, currently ETN. If ETN is out, sub Pollard versus Indiana or Rashad White versus New Orleans. Oh, God. Oof. I'm going White. If Fournette's out, let's make sure Fournette's out. Yeah. I don't know with Pollard. Uh, I don't think I trust him anymore after this last week. I mean, yeah. When it, which which Pollard are we going to get? The one that got seven this week or the one that got 30 the last two weeks? Right? Um, I can't trust it. I don't know. Wait. I might go Pollard. Ooh. I might. You're going to take that risk again? You're going to do that in your own I mean, is White getting 30? Pollard might get 30. I might take the risk on the guy that can get 30. Are you going to play Pollard in your team that you played That's the thing. I don't know if I I am or not. That's a really tough call. White's got – I mean, but now if, if Fournette's out, if Fournette's out, I'd probably go White. Yeah. If Fournette's in, I probably go Pollard. 
Okay, I agree with this. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, same league. Uh, his wide receiver one is Lamb. His wide receiver two is DK. Current flex Kirk, Christian Kirk versus Detroit, or swap any of those guys for Ayuk versus Miami, or you could put Pollard or White in as flex instead because it's the same same league. Well, White again, I put White in if it's if Fournette's out. If not, I want as much of the 49er offense as I can get in this game. Because it's going to be a shootout. Yeah, I really believe it's going to be a shootout against Miami. So I want Ayuk. Yeah. Yeah. Although Jacksonville's got a gold matchup. You know, the Jacksonville Detroit game could be a shootout too. Because mm-hmm. Detroit can Detroit can score, and Jacksonville can score too. So it's not that's not a total. Yeah, that's not that, that's not an easy one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a you, you got some big offensive games. You got three monster offensive games on on the slate this week. Jacksonville, Detroit, probably going to score a lot of points. San Francisco, Miami, and Cincinnati, Kansas City. That's some that's some firepower in those three games. Fire. Yeah. Okay, next question is non-PPR. Running back one is Taylor. His two is uh, Nick Chubb, so he's going to flex Ramondre. So he flexes Ramondre. Wide receiver one is Tyreek Hill. He's questionable. His two is St. Brown, and he has A.J. Brown and Tyler Boyd on the bench. If Tyreek is out, obviously A.J., but does he start A.J. or St. Brown? It's a great problem to have. How do you sit A.J. Green? I mean, A.J. Brown. A.J. Green. definitely sit A.J. Green. Definitely yeah, you definitely sit A.J. Green. A.J. Green. How do you sit A.J. Brown? <laughs> How do you sit a Monra? I don't sit. You can't sit Ramondre because Ramondre's got no competition this week. Ramondre's going to get 25 touches this week. Wait. Good problem to have. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're you're going to be wrong with anything. You're not going to be wrong with anything? No, you're not. Just pick a dark throw for this I would one. say that. Flip a coin. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. I don't think we can help on that because it's like they're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't play Tyler Boyd. Yeah, no, that we can say. Yeah. That's pretty safe. Keep, keep Tyler Boyd in Yeah, so it's really a matter of Ramon. I mean, and it's a standard league, so you're playing, you play the running back at the flex. Right. So you're looking at, it's a Monra or A.J. Brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flip a coin. Yep. Yep. I'd say St. Brown. Okay. Okay, last one. Uh, quarter PPR. Wide receiver one is Diggs, and for his number two, his options are St. Brown, McLaurin, Lockett, or Boyd. We're not playing Boyd anymore. No, you're not we're playing done, Boyd. We're done with Boyd. You are not playing Boyd. Or Lo- uh, I think I'm going St. Brown here. Yeah, I think I am too. Same league, tight ends, option, Dewan Johnson, or Everett. Or Fryermuth. Fryermuth. Oh, Fryermuth. 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 Not even close. Not even close. Thanks for your yeah. questions, Dennis. Do we have any more? Do you have one? Uh, do I have one personally? I had a one this past week that I messaged Kenny in the morning, and I was like, do I start P. Ryan or Alan Lazard? Kenny said, I don't really like P. Ryan, but you should start P. Ryan, and I did. And hey, I got it right. All right. Yay me. <laughs> if I didn't, I would have lost. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah. And if, uh, <laughs> I, th- the defense in this league is dreadful. I lost nine points on Seattle's defense. Nine points I lost. Minus mm. nine. Yep. I hate that. Yep. I mean, don't g- give me minus one, okay, minus two, minus nine. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. ESPN's got weird defense rules, though. So. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't like it. Would you start... From Greg, our friend, would you start Miles Sanders against a tough Indy D, or would you start David Montgomery against a poor Green Bay D? I think you're going with the hot hand. And hot hands, Miles? I think it is. Montgomery's uh, been really good since Herbert's been. Khalil Herbert was on IR. I'm still. Going I want to know who's quarterback in Chicago. You still go Sanders? Still going. Sanders. Sanders, we the last two weeks prior to this one was crap. Montgomery's been a lot more consistent, but Montgomery doesn't have the ceiling that Sanders has. Right. 
I'm going Sanders. Hmm. Okay. There's your answer. Spoken from the, the Philly Homer. Spoken from the Philly Homer. Mm-hmm. Good for you. All right. So in my flex for this ESPN, if Mixon's not – if Mixon's playing, who now am I going to play in this flex? Drake London, who's been doing actually pretty good recently. Okay. Probably Alan Lazard, I guess. I'll just put him back in. Pacheco, I have. Or Darius Slayton, I have. Pacheco. Yeah? Yep. Over Alan Lazard? Yep. Hmm. Pacheco had 15 points this past week. Yeah. Man, I have Herbert and Goddard on IR in this in this league. Wow. Jeez. I'm still in first place. There you go. Plugging along. So there is a chance. Is a chance. Would you start... Jeff Wilson or Alvin Kamara? Jeff Wilson. I think I'm done with wasn't Kamara. Wasn't I know, but Wilson, in a glorious matchup this week, wasn't great. Could have been a lot better. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, we know Kamara's been bad, but like. You still starting Wilson? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done with Kamara. All right. He's All right. washed up. Wow. You heard it here first. Washed up Kamara. Yep. You know when those players get old, you know how Christina just discards them. Nope. That's it. That's over. Past 25, That's I don't it. want them. No, done. past 27, I don't want them. Okay, fair enough. Because Eckler's like 27, right? Yes, Eckler. Yeah. yeah. yeah you want Eckler. I'll stick with Eck- Eckler's yeah. the oldest. Quarterbacks should go old. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all right, but not running backs. Nope. Nope. I like them young. That's definitely true. So, there you go. Ready to, uh, speaking of old, dearly beloved, <laughs> we're gathered here today to bury the season, possibly the career, possibly the last time we mentioned this name on this show. Oh, it's so sad. Alan Robinson. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> we hardly knew you, Alan Robinson. It's been no, we knew you. Last Last couple of years for Alan Robinson. But we knew you. It's a hard week, Kenny. May you rest in peace, Alan Robinson. Rest in peace, Alan Robinson. Oh, dearly beloved, we're no. gathered here today. No. To bury the season, to end the season of one of my favorites, and yet another player that's on this list for like the fifth time, Darnell Mooney. No. <laughs> Done with these injuries. Darno Mooney out for the year. Make it stop, Kenny. Make it stop. I can't make it stop. Dearly beloved, no. we're gathered here today <laughs> to probably end the season of Matthew Stafford. They just keep coming. May you all rest in peace. I'll miss you, boys. But. Dearly beloved, we gather here today to revive the season of Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore. (laughs) He'll be back in all my teams, Elijah Moore. Yes, Elijah Moore is back. (laughs) Or is he? Well, we'll see. I don't know. But it's worth a shot, right? (laughs) You just wanted to sing the song again, really. Elijah Moore. He'll be back in all my teams, Elijah Moore. Yes, I did. I wanted to <laughs> sing it again. <laughs> he actually like sang, like like text message sang that to me. Oh yeah. By a text message. Oh yeah. I, I just Elijah laughed. Moore. I just laughed. Back. Viable, maybe. Well, maybe. Know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll take a chance. Did but you drop were... him? Oh hell yeah. So you're gonna pick him back up? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> I didn't drop him in Dynasty Leagues. I have him in Dynasty Leagues. That's going to be interesting if I play him in a couple of weeks this week. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But he's back. He's back. Yeah. Until he craps the bed this next week and we'll put him on the crap the bed list and <laughs> we'll ask if we can drop him and, yes, and, then, and then bury him and it'll be like the cycle of Elijah Moore. That's really the, the story of the 2022 season on this show is highs. the life and times of Elijah Moore. Yes, the highs, yes. the lows. Yes. The what do we do with, the yes. do we drop, right. the burial. Yes. That's the sequence. And now the revival. And now the of revival. Elijah Moore. That's been a year. So. And I know. 
That ends the show. Thanks for listening. Week 13, man. Week 13. Damn. It goes fast. It's Kenny fast. likes to say every single week. It does. Uh, please, if you haven't already, write us a review on Apple Podcasts and a five-star review, if that, please. Yes, unless, unless you don't like us, then just don't write anything. <laughs> then why are you still listening? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Christina Shaw. I'm Kenny Davidson. Bye. Bye.